and steering suspension or something can be knocked off like a lot of the box cars and when you go and uh, make the turns the top turns top turns at high speed then uh, you lose control of the car and that's a lot of them that's with both of them the box cars and the, uh, the top speed uh, like uh, sports cars you can I'm just saying not, not even a real really luxury brand like something like a Nissan but like a real uh, like a real sporty sporty, not like the not like the uh the three the two eighties and the three sixties, not like those. But the the Nissans that you see more like in the uh you see them more in a video game. You see them sometimes on the road. That's rarely I rarely seen them in uh another state that I'm in now. But you see them more like in uh Need for Speed or something like that, or Grand Turismo or something like that, the old games. You see that more in in that. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's almost not street legal. You're going so fast, and you don't really know how fast you're going, and you don't hit the brakes in time enough, or you hit the brakes too hard, and you don't uh, you don't make that turn quite well. So and then a lot of times like that, you can uh, can end up crashing. Not a major, not a major thing, but not a major crash, but just like hitting a wall or something like that. But that's that's like more for driving at high speeds or driving on the on the highway, but then still doing sharp turns. So this look this looks like the alternator. Could be wrong on that. And this is uh this is more where uh, I was talking about the the belt, the timing belt right here on the gears from from turning the engine. So. Uh, this is a this alternator belt. Yeah, I was right about that. The alternator belt, the pulley. I was right about that. Was the alternator? Uh, yeah. So, like I said, those are those are the, the gears for turning the uh, the engine. You got the crankshaft pulley, AC compressor pulley. That's not my specialty, but these things are good good to know, and it's good to like like you see that. You look under the hood and look, it has things where you could tell the the wear of the of the alternator belt. So you don't want to you don't want a bad alternator belt because if it's not able to move those gears, then you're not going nowhere. Not going nowhere. So ladies, this went longer than I thought. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right here. It's a lot of it's a lot of car knowledge in this one right here. This is the main one that I recommend. Um right here, this book right here, ladies. If you wanna, if you wanna know car knowledge, uh, not basically like how to purchase a car, like the, the negotiating and and uh, how much money you should have and how much uh, interest or whether you should uh, put, uh, be able to finance and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking. I'm talking about how to know if it's a a, a good car under the hood. Because this is about. And I don't care how it looks. You know, we don't. Not me personally. It's not personal. It's not personal. We don't. We don't care about how it looks when it, it's about how it drives. It's about what's under the hood. It's about how it drives, how it handles, how durable it is, how many times you're gonna have to take it in and out the shop. This is gonna help you right here. This is gonna help you. It's gonna help you out a whole lot. This right here. It's gonna all the way help you out. It's gonna put you in the game right here. This is the, um, one of the, um, what do you call it? A lot of you ladies already know this. This is, uh, you change the oil. That's the, the uh, changing the, you change the oil right there. So under the pan around there. Um, I don't know if this is trans, you only got mainly two of them. You got transmission oil. We're talking about under the car and the engine oil. So you wanna uh, change change those out when it's time. You change the oil, you wanna change those out too. Change that, so. This is searching engine stuff. They have they have tools where you can plug it, but you're not gonna have all that unless you're that kind of car car woman, anyways. And if you're that kind of car woman, where you have the, the tools to check the engine, because they have like diagnostic tools and everything that you don't you don't even really need this book. I mean, you know, you know I have, but you don't need me telling you. You already know to get this book, and I'll say that. And if you need the book, you have because most it's a good possibility that you already know the you already know the car knowledge. So this is what I'm saying is in, in or if, if a mechanic, if you're not even purchasing the car, also if you're going to get mechanical work done or or get anything done on your vehicle, 
then this is this is something good to already have in your in your book collection, like ladies, in your library, your library collection, or just your your book resources, something to go back and, and look at. This is a this is an important book to have, ladies, if you're gonna be driving. This is like this is like just like a safety manual, you know? You can call it you call it the complete gear manual, aka safety manual. Car safety manual, updated and expanded. I thought I was gonna have the arc on it. But um yeah, you call it the AKA uh, car safety manual. You wanna you want your car to be safe. You don't want parts falling off and all that type stuff. You don't want that. So you wanna get this right here. Let's put you in there. Yeah, it's gonna put you in there. This is what you're gonna Spraying something so it's gonna keep the the oil off the pan. Spray on there so you don't have that uh oh yeah, foot powder or something. Oh, either that's to keep the foot. I'm not even gonna read this. I'm just gonna you can check me on this. Like either to keep the uh the oil off the pan or that's to tell to see if there's any cracks or not in the pan. Foot powder. And I think it's the latter. This right here because it's foot powder. Never seen it do before, but I'm assuming that that is to uh. Check and see if there's any cracks on the pan for any leak. You know, see where the leakage is coming from. So, and they can they might can patch it up with some uh, some sealant, some sealant, some fluid sealant, sealant fluid. And you know they got different colors, orange and things like that. But uh, I'm just taking a a, a hunch and a guess. I could be wrong, but it's it's not it's not that serious because you can get the book yourself and check it out. It's not no life or death matter. It's not a not a, a fail uh, past hypothesis right now because we're not we're not going to crank up anything you know right now we just communicating and getting understanding and showing showing some of the way and this is like a, this is like a transmission and it is this is like the this is like the governor housing right there right there and this is um I don't know, I believe it's transmission. No, that's the engine. That's the engine. Yeah. That's housing for the engine. Only the engine. Yeah. It's like an exhaust thing, heater clamps. Radiator pressure, filter net, layer fan. Where's the trend? Okay, here holds water. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I see what angle we're looking at now. Okay. Okay. Radiator. Yeah, that's more the radiator and things like that. So, where is the transmission? Okay, in this book. I was going to stop it. I mean, I want to see a transmission in the book. That is the first thing that you know people focus on first is the engine. But I think the transmission is the brain and the engine is the heart. Could be wrong with the vehicle. I wanna, yeah, it's all it's definitely engine stuff. Yeah, that's the top. It's the top engine stuff. That's the. So it's like the oil. You pour the oil in. There it is. That's the transmission. There it is. Can see. There it is. That's the gasket. Obviously, say a piece of the gasket. The valve body and stuff. This is the gasket transmission. It's, uh, it's more for the uh, flywheel connected to the engine. There we go. All right. All right. Me, myself, I got so much studying to do. I don't know everything about the vehicle. Definitely like said, not a, not even a, an expert. Definitely not a master of new cars. I'm not even an expert on the new cars. A lot of new cars have come out. They're coming out and coming out left and right. They're coming out like they do TVs. I wouldn't say bottle of water, but almost like that. Like like how they supplying TVs in the store and laptops. That's how fast cars are coming out, you know? So, 
Yeah, that's the steering wheel. Yeah. Horn button. It's the battery. All that. So, and it's good to be looking at a car when you read it because it's different. You know how they draw it out. It's kind of, it's hard for them to draw it out. This like things like this unless they're taking a picture. This is more like I wouldn't say drawn out, but this is more like a computerized drawing. You know, something like that. That's not like drawing a picture. That's like, that's more like a computer graphics, but not like you know, not nothing major, but like the the two D and setting things, setting things up for the human eye perspective. But this is how it most more looks like right here. But you know, none of this is like a a, a, a picture like how I'm I'm just doing like a one snapshot. Like you know, this is everything dissected, not everything. But you, this is most most of the things dissected out of it in this place, so the visual I, I can get a visual of it. But you really don't know when you look at it, you take it apart. Then you have to really scramble it. If you, but that's talk. That's talking about doing mechanical work. That's talking about repair. You want to do it like that. But even just so many to know how to look at it. You know, just to change the the light. You want to check the lights on the car.